I'm going to trace the outer curve with a pencil so I can transfer it to the window sandwich plate. I'm now cutting out the curve with the scissors. I have a template of it. Now I'm going to sketch out the curve on this uh, window sandwich plate. I'm just going to line up the, the line on the curve and just sketch it. I'm going to use the jigsaw to start the curve just roughly and then I'll use the sander to smooth it out. That's a pretty good rough shape for it. Now we're going to use the sander just to smooth it out. It looks like a nice round corner. I'm going to continue with the other sides. We're going to use a drill press to drill our holes for our hex bolts on the top and bottom interior window pieces. So we've marked those. We're going to do it in two stages since this lint isn't quite long enough for the drill to go all the way through. So I'll start it, go down as far as I can, and then I'll continue. Um, once I raise the table a little bit to push it through. I'm going to raise the table so that I can push through the remaining hole that's at the very bottom. So I'm just going to raise this up, make sure the hole is underneath it, right about there, close it up, then I'll hold this. hex bolt. We'll be able to go all the way through. Drilling our pilot holes for our one inch wood screws, we're going to use a 332nd inch bit to drill holes on the side and top to connect the side and top of the interior window frame. So we just want to make sure that is completely straight and we'll drill those pilot holes. Before we attach the side to the top of the interior frame, we're just going to put a little wood, uh, wood glue on it. And uh, push it together so that it glues it on nicely. And we'll screw it in. Don't worry if your wood frame is not exactly straight because when you connect the last side, it'll pull it together. We're just going to add a little glue on the ends again to do the last section of siding for the interior window frame. We're going to hold the last piece together, hold it 
comes together, the box comes together, we'll have our completed interior window frame. Here we have the interior window frame, but it doesn't quite fit in the window. Here you can see the window stop, and it's just stopping the window from opening enough so that we can get the interior window frame in. So that's the stop, so we're going to cut some of that out. Now we're going to cut the foam to the shape, to the length of the window and position it. So that'll go about to here. We'll use some scissors for this. Padding to protect the window as well as provide insulation from bugs and weather. Okay, we're gonna see on the corners because this didn't thing didn't fit quite right, didn't clear the window, so we're gonna try to take some of the corner off it. Okay, so it looks like sanding the corners down did the trick. Although we won't be able to have the insulating foam all the way around, I'll be able to add it later in strips on the sides, but it's just too thick to fit in this window. Um, but now you can see it, it fits very well um, in the window and this will be attached to the sandwich plate. So now we're gonna use the sandwich plate um, to line up with the inner, in, the interior window frame to make the marks for the cut. Okay, we just set up the outer sandwich plate. We're holding that from behind and we just positioned the interior window frame and now we're going to mark it so we can do the cutout. We're going to drill four holes so that we can cut it out with a jigsaw. So first we'll start with the, the drilling the holes. Now I'm going to use the holes for the hex bolts just as a lineup, making sure that the interior wood frame is lined like I want to. And then I'm just going to mark where I'm going to drill those holes to allow the hex bolts to pass through before we mount this interior frame onto the inner sandwich plate by using screws. So those are our holes, and now we'll drill. Now I'm going to use the sandwich, the outside sandwich, which has been cut as a template, lining it up to cut the inside sandwich.
now we're going to mark the inside sandwich plate for the pass-through bolt holes. Here's the completed interior and exterior sandwich plates with the interior window frame bolted together. Still have to screw the interior window frame to the inside sandwich plate, but this is a good sign right now. Everything's looking good. Now we're going to apply glue to the inside of the interior window frame and glue it and then screw it to the inside sandwich plate. Now we're going to use a couple of wood screws on each side to screw the inside sandwich plate to the interior window frame. The one inch wood screws have now all been installed and are now attached to the interior window frame anchored to the inside sandwich plate. Now that the AC is properly positioned, I'm going to mark off the spots for the channels, which will be bolted or screwed into the platform. So this is on the outside. This channel is going to be made at about 10 inches wide. I marked the outer channel for the platform so that it is more toward the center so that there's space for the foot to come down. Next I'll mark the inside channel. I'll now drill the pilot holes in the outlines of the inner and out, inside and outside channel markings that we made and then I'll be able to screw it in from the other side using the wood screws. Now we'll apply some glue before we screw it in. I think I'll screw it in from underneath the table to keep it level. I'll just use those guide holes. And the last one to go in is the outer channel marker. Now we'll secure the outer channel. This one's shorter so it doesn't obstruct the two hex bolts that pass through.
Here's the channel mounting on the base platform for the AC after screwing it. We're going to cut our four PVC pieces now that will help support the leg on underneath the platform. The PVC pieces will be capped on one side and then plugged into a T on the other and then the leg will go through that. So will look pretty clean. This will be underneath the platform. We're going to use our 3 8 inch small screws to put brackets on the base of this PVC. And we're going to make sure it's not too close to the hex bolts coming out because we still want to be able to screw on the wig nuts. I'm using number 7 5 8 inch screws. But I need to use a washer because they're too long. I didn't have any 3 8 inch screws, so that would be better. But I'll use washers so it doesn't protrude through the top of the base plate. The base platform should be just about level, or if anything, slightly sloping down so that the condensation from the AC doesn't drip into the trailer. I'm going to secure the brackets with the screws for the PVC base. The finished base for the platform. First thing we're going to do is open up the shades and we're going to pull the screen and the window out and get ready for the setup for the AC. We're going to put the foam to protect the window and provide some insulation. So we're going to put that top and bottom. The window side. Now we're going to separate the sandwich plates so we can install the window frame inside the trailer and outside the trailer. Separate those on the top. And we're going to set this up in the window frame, line it up with the bolt. We're going to insert the leg and the foot into the platform base and align these channels on the window frame so it fits snugly. Now we have a nice snug fit. And then to distribute the weight to the scamp bumper, which is welded to the frame, just velcro that onto the frame so it can support the weight and doesn't slide around. Now we have the air conditioner mounted and secured so we can go inside and use it. It's currently 93 degrees here in the Central Valley, Lake Success. We're going to be using our AC to cool things down a bit.